we are looking at the Vivitar Creator Series Studio Mic USB. It claims to be a super cardioid mic with customizable LEDs, a reverb knob, gain control knob, headset volume knob, and a noise cancellation mode. We picked it up at Walmart for $42.78 total. Here's what the mic looks like. As you can see, the product image on the box is accurate and it comes with all the buttons and knobs it claims to have. Vivitar is known for their hit and miss quality control, so let us test it out and see if this is a hit or a miss. Hey everyone, today we're using the Vivitar mic. It is pretty close to our mouths, I don't know if you can see it. Uh, this was the first mic that I got her when she wanted to go pro streaming on a PC. Now, you use this for about a week or two before we swap you over to the Yeti. My question for you is, do you ever miss using this Vivitar mic? No. What do you like about the Yeti that you didn't like about this mic? It's smaller. Yeah. What? It's more smoother, too. Oh, yeah? So the Yeti's more smooth? Yeah. And this one's smaller? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then I used it for about two weeks also on a PS5. I did like the fact that it changed colors. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And I did like that the mute button was on top. I would tap it, but I don't want to cut out the audio that we're recording right now. The gain function on it's pretty cool. You can bump up the gain a bit so you can hear everything a lot more clear. Um, that does bring in more noise, though, and probably more echo. I don't know if you can tell I bumped it up all the way. And also, there's a cool reverb effect, which makes it sound like you're in a cave. Hello! Hello! Uh, baby, did you ever use the reverb to, like, troll people on games or anything? Nope. No, you never did? Um, what would you say about this being priced in the $40 range? Is it worth around $40, or would you want it higher or lower? Definitely not worth the money. No? Lower price, at least. $20. Oh, for this one? Yeah, a lot of people probably feel that way because Vivitar isn't really that big of... Like, they're not known for their quality control. Hey, everyone. I'm President Ross, and this is the other host of this YouTube channel. Bags. Follow her on TikTok. The reason why we're doing a third test of this microphone is because when we record the first one, everything sounds so far away and blocky. And then we did a second one, and everything sounded a little bit better. Now we kick the gain up to 5 decibels instead of 0, and we turn noise cancellation off, and we we're trying to see if it still sounds good. Baby, what were your original thoughts when you heard this played back on the computer, the recording from this microphone? Not too good. And we had issues with this when you were using it on, uh, what was it? Fortnite and my stream. People were saying, what were they saying about it? It was like very far away. And it didn't matter how much gain we had turned up. It didn't matter if we turned noise cancellation off. It still sounded far away and blocky and kind of, um, how would you describe it? Like you're in a cave or something? I don't know. Yeah, and the reverb was turned off. Like the reverb was turned off and the uh, input settings for the PC and PlayStation were on default. With no reverb, no voice mods, or anything like that. Noise enhancement, or noise cancellation, or anything. So, again, tell the audience, baby, is this worth uh, 44 bucks or whatever? No, it's not worth it. Is it a cool-looking mic, though? Yeah. But definitely not worth the $40 price point? Nope. And why would you say that, baby? It's just not worth the money. I, don't, I didn't like it. Most people might like it. And you heard it from the source herself. I'm President Ross. And I'm Bags. And we are... Out.